Happy Friday, guys! Miss Pascal here for your Friday Read Aloud. I hope that you guys have had a really nice day. It's been really nice weather, and today starts your spring break. So I hope that you are getting ready for a week off from school. I hope that you have some plans to play outside next week and to sleep in and to just to take a week off from schoolwork. Um, my last read aloud before spring break is one you may have heard of, and it is called Where the Wild Things Are, and it is written by Maurice Sendak. The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. and grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. and an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat 
So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. and it was still hot. I love this classic book. I bet you guys have read this once before, but this one was called Where the Wild Things Are. Um, today is my last read aloud for a week. I'm gonna be taking the week off with you guys, so I will be at home relaxing and sleeping in just like you should. Um, but today's challenge is Friday. So today's Friday. Your challenge for Spirit Week is Fort Friday. So sometime over break, my challenge to you is to make a fort. It can be in your bedroom, it can be in your living room, it can be with sheets and pillows, um, it could be outside. Um, you can use your imagination and be creative, just like Max was. Um, but today is Fort Friday, so I challenge you to make a fort at home over the next week. I hope you guys have a really nice week off. I will be back on April 13th to keep reading to you and to keep teaching and learning with you for the rest of the school year. So have a wonderful week off and I will see you guys back here soon. Love you guys. Bye.